coffee shop we were at closed, so we're actually sitting in front of the hotel now and discussing what we're gonna do tomorrow before we head back to Ho Chi Minh City in the evening. This town closes very early. It's only 10 p.m. and this town is a ghost town. Everything is closed, 10 p.m. It's not like Ho Chi Minh City where you see everything open all night long. I know I can't show you guys much of the street, but trust me, there's nothing open. So uh, you have two days here. Mm -hmm. One day you had a block tour with me and tomorrow I will take you to the Garden of Bird. Okay, yeah. and we'll then have we... breakfast and have coffee and wait for him? Yep. Okay. And then I'll take you to the God on the Birds. Okay, good. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. I just woke up from the hotel. We're about to go to the bird garden. Uh, like, this is our last day in Canto. We're going to drop off all our stuff at Martin's house and then we're going to go see the bird garden. So come along with us. Yeah. It's better, huh? No. No? No. My friend Martin took us out today to a bird sanctuary where we're going to see the birds. They said the birds mostly come around 4 or 5 p.m. So we're a few hours early, but since we have to head back to Saigon today, we're going to go ahead and check it out now. Well, those aren't birds. Those are little doogies. Right there, little doogies. Right there. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. Yeah. It's a good boy. Yeah. Right there. Right there. They're very playful. Look. Look at this, a pelican? I don't know. I don't know this bird. That's a pelican. Yeah, be careful. He's a scary looking guy. Watch out, watch out. Yeah, I know, I see. His beak is long. What's up, dude? He looks very emotionally neutral. He looks very, very old. He's got a bald head with gray hair coming out and a very wrinkly face. He looks annoyed that I'm on his lawn. The old man is just telling me to get off my grass. We have new friends and the little doogies follow us. We're going to climb these stairs. On the way over here, my friend's brother ran out of gas, so they had to sit on the side of the road. Oh, they went and got gas. Very hot day. You gotta take pictures, but on Facebook and Instagram, where are you gonna post these pictures? Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. Facebook? You're gonna post on Yalo? No. You guys don't know, Yalo is the Vietnamese version of Facebook, because you use it for messengers and you can post stories on your timeline. Yeah. Kind of like Facebook. Kind of like Japanese, they have long. Yeah, and in South Korea, they have Kakato. Kakato? They stay here for a long time. Why do they stay here? Because of their ecosystem. It's good for them to live. It's specifically the trees? Yep. What happens if they just all fly away? And then the bird sanctuary is just finished? Yeah. We checked out of the hotel about noon today. The whole trip cost about two million for two and a half days out here. Counting gas, hotels, food, beer, boat ride, smokes. So that's about 80 bucks USD. Could have been cheaper if I wanted it to be. Maybe if I would have ate a little less food and didn't go on the boat ride. But it was worth it. It's nice to come out this part of Vietnam and see this little bird sanctuary and see what the provinces look like. Though it's not the authentic, true province feeling. It's more like a small town. Not too much to see out here. They didn't want to come out here because they said it stunk. It made their stomach hurt, but I don't smell anything. Maybe I'm used to bad smells because I have cats. I think that river is just full of bird poop. That's probably what the smell is. Who's his friend? Hello. These are your friends? Yep. You guys speak English? No, just a little bit. He is in grade 11 now. Grade 11? So you guys are in high school. What are your guys' name? Tin Lao Yi. My name is Adam. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. yeah. What is your name? Yeah, my name is Tang. Nice Tang? To nice to meet you. To char energy. All the time. Yeah. Old men. Old men. Yeah. Old men get tired very easy. Okay, so that's it for the bird sanctuary. That's it for meeting Martin's friends, and now we're going to leave. I really love to be a diplomat. I want to work to help to boost Vietnam uh, tourism and to introduce Vietnam to the international friends. Very happy and my privilege to let the Vietnam be more known in the world and I try to learn English. That's the reason why I want more and more people to know about Vietnam. It's a friendly country, it's a, a worth living country. The people here we are open to people from any country like American, South Korea or African countries. We really love to see the foreigners who come to Vietnam. Like my mother said, if they want to come to your home, you need to treat them well to have a good impression. And then when they come back to their home country, they would have a good impression and they would break it out to other friends of them. And more and more people would know about Vietnam and it could increase our economy. We would have a good, decent job, and we could 
Yeah, we should have a battle life. 